For most of California's history, a record snowpack in the Sierra has been like money in the bank, filling reservoirs and keeping rivers healthy and flowing year-round. But in this era of climate change, there's a real concern that some of that precious water could slip through our fingers. If we get a very warm rain or a series of warm rains, if we get an extended period of warm weather, that's going to trigger the snowmill and the flooding potential for the river. Don Cameron runs the Terranova Ranch near Fresno. He's building a pilot project that could help reshape the way California manages and stores its Sierra runoff. It involves diverting excess flood water from the nearby Kings River through a network of canals to deliberately swamp his own fields. So when the water comes, we're filling up the canals and we're pumping the water onto the fields of pistachios, the open fields, and we're allowing the water to percolate down to the aquifer. The technique is called groundwater recharge, and it's quickly expanding in different forms across the state. Recently, Santa Clara County protected a large floodplain in the Coyote Valley from development, in part to help replenish the aquifer, while surrounding agencies like Valley Water operate sophisticated recharge systems that return treated wastewater into the ground. But with the prospect of a faster snowmelt this year, there's a growing focus on using groundwater recharge as a kind of second reservoir system to capture and store as much excess runoff as possible. Carla Namath directs the California Department of Water Resources and says it's part of a complicated puzzle to adapt the state's massive water system to climate change. To make sure we can move water where it needs to go is going to be critical to meeting this extreme weather, this kind of weather whiplash, so we can capture it and store it when we know the dry periods are going to return. And then groundwater is also crucial to that. Last year, ABC7 profiled a futuristic survey program supported by the state. Researchers use spaceship-like antennae to ping the ground with electromagnetic pulses. The goal? To uncover hidden pathways that could carry seasonal runoff deep into the aquifer. To essentially like take an MRI of the Earth, so when that snow melt comes, we'll have mapping in place that can help us understand the soils beneath. Recent studies have also suggested that flooding areas with the right kind of porous soil can capture water without harming crops. Back at the Terra Nova Ranch, Don Cameron believes the technique could also be critical for restoring overpumped aquifers, especially in areas of the Central Valley that are so dry the ground is literally sinking. We've been the example throughout the state on how you can flood some of the growing crops without damaging them and, and get this water stored. Governor Newsom has now issued an executive order that could help fast-track the process, potentially expanding California's water system in a new and resilient way tapping into a vast, invisible network of natural underground reservoirs to store water in a climate-driven age split between drought and downpours.